All right, this is going to be an oil change on a 2000 Honda Foreman 450 ES four-wheel drive. First thing we want to do is go ahead and find the drain plug. It's right here in this hole. It is a 17 millimeter. Inspect your drain plug. If you got a magnetic one, check for any metal or anything. This one is magnetic and it looks great. Next thing we want to do is we want to remove our oil filter. We have to move our oil filter cap with these three bolts right here. This is the right side of the vehicle. And that is a eight millimeter. I'm actually going to use a 5 16th six sided. Seems to fit on there just a little bit better. Little helpful hint, put a rag up underneath here as you're doing this. There we go. There's our filter, hence the reason for the rag. So what I like to do is I like to take the cover, spray it out, clean it out, make sure everything's good, make sure that this surface right here is in the best shape that it can be in. Make sure your O-ring is in good shape. This one's in fine shape. If it's in bad shape, you can get one of these at any uh, small engine shop. Uh, you can be able to get this O-ring for these Hondas. This one's in good shape. I'm not going to replace it. So that right there is your spring. Just make sure that your spring sits on this retainer in here. That opens up your flow. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and we can put our new filter in. As you can see, it says on the filter, this side and the spring towards engine. So this side here, it's gonna go towards the engine. And you can see this one here says outside, towards the cover. Tighten them about finger tight. Put your drain plug back in. Not too tight. Remove your filler plug. This is also your dipstick. In the owner's manual, it says 2.1 quarts. I'm going to put in two quarts. Let's go ahead and I'm going to check it real quick. I might fire it up. I can always add a little bit more, but don't overfill it. That's the oil that I'm using. It actually says Pro Honda. Yeah, I guess it's good for the wet clutches. All right, that's two quarts. Let's see what she looks like here. Two quarts, it's just on that full line there. Let's start it up. Let's check for leaks. I don't see any leaks. Everything looks dry there. Let's recheck our oil. So she's just a little bit low. That filter sucked it up. Let's just add a couple more ounces in there. Looks good. I'm gonna guess about two and a quarter quarts. So that's changing the oil on a 2000 Honda Foreman 450 ES. Quick, simple, fast. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe, it helps my channel. Thanks a bunch and be good.